Welcome back, YouTube views of the world, to the Game Tales and Rise channel. I am Game Tales and Rise, and time for another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. But before we get into this episode, though, I have to clarify a few things. Number one, why was I not here last weekend? Why was there no video? Uh, my modem broke. So if you're watching this right now, it should be up. This should be uploaded on Thursday. It means my modem was uh, replaced successfully and fixed and my internet is back and I was able to actually upload this video pro properly. Second, why is this video up on a Thursday? Well, for those of you who do not know, I am act this is actually a pre-recorded video where I am right now, at this moment, off at MOMOCON! Heck yeah, MOMOCON! The yearly event where I go to hang out with the peoples that I know and love that I don't really know, but I, I like looking at their cosplays and taking a lot of pictures. And you should be expecting a, maybe a little vlog, short vlog some nights while I'm there. I'm going to be there all four days. So I should ha have some, maybe some late night vlogs here and there just updating on what's got, what happened now on that day. Maybe if I'm, if I'm not too tired and I'm actually up for it and I can actually upload it. And lastly, why am I baby faced almost? Why? Why is this? Uh, one of my cosplays, actually. I had to shave because my cosplay character, Trafargar D. Waterlaw, does not have a mustache. He's got the beard. He's got the beard. He's got the sideburns. But he doesn't have the mustache. He never gets the mustache. What do you guys think? Do you think Trafalgar Law would look good in a mustache? He'd probably look like Sanji. After all that, we're here, we're back, we're playing some Pokemon Insurgents. I'm not supposed to toggle auto-run, that's not what I was trying to do. Let's see. It's a force field that prohibits entry. Perhaps only members can get in? Okay. So, if from the last episode, we went over Maelstrom 9, we made it to the next town, and then we were told we had to go and take out the Abyssal Cults. Probably, this might be the last time we ever fight them, because this might be, like... Just their last all-out strike. What what was the? I, I just remember. I taught. I had it for. Uh, can't use that here. Can't use that here. Can't. Oh 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 oh. Using our, here we go. It was Q. Um, abyssal cultist. Poof. I'm an abyssal cultist. I'm a girl. They made me a girl. Why would they do that? And why is my camera still making me angry? Anyway. Hey, I made it through. Why were you allowed to hear the Axorus? Oh, couldn't for you. Alright. Escape rope! Just not I needed, just in case I don't want to be in here. Alright. Welcome to the Abyssal Cult's hideout. Hello. I'm just gonna take this ether. I hope you don't mind. Have anything to say to me? Oh, hey, a battle? I'd love to, fellow cultist. So apparently if I'm in disguise, I can just challenge them to battles. Okay, that's interesting. Hopefully they don't, like, get caught off guard by the fact I don't have any water Pokemon on me. Wait, do I? I don't think I do. Let me triple check. Uh, oh wait, I have Skipper! Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know why I, I, I have Shukaku. That's probably the worst idea here, but... It, or, it, uh, we'll see how things t play out. I probably should have got, had a better team in mind for doing this, but... We'll see! We'll see. I I'm, I'm have faith in my team. I have strong faith that my team will not let me down. Because Shikaku has become the ultimate troll, Jack is quite the trickster, and uh, I did not see what that was, but we're just gonna leave in Haxorus because he knows all the good hacks. And you can dragon claw them into submission, slish slash, make them go take a bath. Why is it raining indoors? Just get, just get out of here with your changing weather, bad self. Just that's not that's not cool, man. Not cool. Wait, are you serious? We've reached the teleport area. This force field system is so complicated. One field hold for grunts, one for scientists, and one that only Audrey can get through. It hurts my brain just thinking about it. Interesting. 
so it seems I'm gonna have to... I might have to get DNA for all of them? Interesting. Swap it! Swap! Dragon Claw! You just take down, that's fine, we don't care, we're just gonna hit, keep on slish slashing. Because Haxorus is apparently so strong, he can handle any attacks that come his way. A Samurott. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna switch out now, because we don't need Haxorus taking on everything. Let's send in Jack. I think Jack can handle something. A little, just a few fights. Against a Samurott, that's pure water. Probably would have been better off against the Swampert. But let's see. Bullet Seed! That is a lot of damage for Bullet Seed. That's not a lot of damage if you only hit twice. Come on, Jack. Come on. Well, now you only do have to hit twice, but it would have been appreciated if you could just have, like, hit four times. Or five, even. Well, even though five isn't an even number, but still. When you go in five, you can't even. Hi. Isn't it exciting? We're finally putting our plan into motion. What plan? Is it the plan for the Pokemon on this big screen? Kyogre's? Kyogre? Cloyster. That's not a good matchup for Cl for uh, Haxorus here, so Pokemans. Let's send in... Bowser. Street Fighter Bowser, to be more specific. Icicle Crash? That's fine. You can do that. Because we are going to transform from Street Fighter Bowser to full-on Tekken Bowser. <laughs> Go, Bowser! Or a sphere! I was watching an episode of uh, Pokemon Insurgents by my buddy Bisk recently, and he con and he commented on how like moves like Aura Sphere uh, use the special effect, spe the super effective sound effect in the attack. And I'm gonna agree with him in that it's not a good ta idea for for uh, game design. It it really isn't. You shouldn't have the same sound for like super effective. It's it's not good. It really isn't. Okay, uh psychic. I think I was astonished. That's not good. But we know psychic and that's stronger. Much stronger. So much stronger. Osmosis There we go. Next on to-do list is continue moving on through the base. I heard that Gamertil is going to try to infiltrate our base. Battle me to help me get prepared. Sure thing, bro. I can do that. I'll get you prepared. Heck, I'll even... I'll do you one better. I'll use the exact same Pokemon I know he's gonna use. Sesmitoad. Ooh, I haven't seen that Pokemon in a, quite a while. Aren't you like. Gen, are you Gen 4 or 5? Same one as Stunfisk. I want to say Gen 4. Could be wrong. But we're going to switch in for Jack. Because Jack is jacked. And he knows Bullet Seed. Bullet. Bullet. Seed. Hydro Pump. And a ja Jack's just dodging away. Don't want to hit his candle. Double bullet seed for that one. All it took was double bullet seed. And Haxorus gained a level and so did Jack. Everyone's getting jacked up. For alligator. For alligator. For alligator. <laughs> it's it's not for alligator, it's for alligator. <laughs> for alligator. <laughs> okay, um. Skipper, Skipper, you take on Feraligatr. <laughs> I think Skipper can handle a Feraligatr. Look at that Feraligatr. 
I, I, I don't care what's happening this episode. This episode is titled For Alligator. <laughs> I don't care. Drill Peck. Alright. Uh, need to use a little bit of Metal Claw action. Let's see if we can get uh, that attack boost. Nope, can't get that. Uh, Scald. Let's just cut, let's burn it so we can cut its physical attack some. And that still did a lot of damage. And it's burned now. Thank you so much, Skipper. We're gonna use Hydro Pump and we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Ooh, we're just gonna use Hydro Pump. And I like that animation. It looks like an Earth Power. Or like a souped up, uh, what, what, which one is it? Is it Water Pledge? Is that the one that, like, actually has water shoot up from the ground? Or is that what? Both Waterfall and, which is weird, Waterfall and Water Pledge are both moves that actually have water shoot up from the ground. Mm. Sorry about that, I'm hungry. I am actually quite hungry. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Is there like some sort of secret hidden item? It's a large piece of machinery. Okay. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hacksers by the. Okay, we'll go this way. Ah, so this must be one of the ones that's like that scientist or the cultist leader can only go through. Interesting. Hey, would you mind have mind battling me? We abyssal cultists have to stay in practice. Sure thing, bro. No prop. Just, I'm surprised no one's questioned why I have why I have been using everything but a water type except for skin. Only one person has an excuse why to not question me, and that's because is that one person saw me use Skipper. You're crawling on level 54. You're getting they're getting stronger. They're getting progressively stronger unless they, that's the only Pokemon he has. Okay, it's his only Pokemon. That explains it. I'll get you next time. Alright, I'm gonna switch out Haxorus. Um, you know what? I want to give Shukaku a chance. I know he's gonna add a disadvantage here, but I believe he might actually do some good. Let me use some of my Moo Moo Milks that I had stored up for quite a while. And I'll just fully heal everyone because I don't really need them at the moment. There we go. Five Moomoo Milks, and I'll save. Again, I I know Shukaku's at a disadvantage, but he is my ultimate troll. He is my ultimate troll Pokemon, because he knows both Minimize and Recover, a deadly combination. If at some point I think, you know what, he's not going to do well, then fine, I'll switch him out. Did, I just went in a complete circle. Okay. Interesting. So, where am I supposed to go? There must have been another teleporter somewhere. Ah, here, this one. Okay. Ooh! Ultra, ultra ball. Is that a... Oh, <laughs> Sewer control system. Okay. Logging on. Login successful. Authentication required. Enter a password. X, 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 X. Password was incorrect. Warning, you have three more login attempts. If you fail the next three, you will immediately be executed for espionage. I changed the clothes are lying on the table. Obtain DNA of Abyssal Scientist. Ooh. Does that mean I can go through... Is that for the green one or the purple one? I don't know. Probably for the green one. I, I highly doubt they put those clothes next to the next to the barrier where I have to go. I'd imagine that the developers would put some backtracking. On. Hey, we got actually got a good matchup against him. Come on, Shikaku, survive! Yeah, Shikaku, minimize. Let's do the Shikaku, minimize again. Minimize once more after this, and then we're gonna start kicking some butt. Evasion level 2, evasion level 3, evasion level 4. Now let's recover, because I expected that to happen. Ding. 
And now... Wow, that thing is accurate. That thing is accurate and lucky. Because it actually managed to land some a blow on an evasion level 4. But it doesn't matter, because Shukaku's a beast. Shukaku is a tail beast, to even. Greninja. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. No. What would be funny is if they had Ash Greninja in here. That'd be funny. Let's use. Let's see if I can use it once more. Minimize. Nope, won't go hard. It's okay, so evasion level four is the max. I will remember that. Let's go ahead and recover. So I have max health again. And Shukaku will now just start obliterating Greninja. Earthquake it. It's er, well, earthquake it substitute. Because we don't need to uh, deal with it. Why did you again? You're not that accurate. You're, you're about as accurate as Genji, Greninja. I can imagine, like, now that Heroes of the Storm, um, if they wanted to, they could take make a Genji skin using Greninja. A, they could make a Greninja skin for Genji because, like, his shurikens would become water shurikens. That basic idea and that would be pretty cool and his ultimate for this dragon blade he become ash greninja that that would be so cool <laughs> and i just transformed in front of the guy and he's like nope okay so i was right yeah i have to i have to be the um i actually have to go to the other barrier went through hello scientist buddy we, we've been working on a way to utilize Kyogre's power for our own. Audrey just activated the machine. I hope that it ends up working. I put a lot of work into this system. Cool, I'm glad you worked hard. But I might just have to ruin your work a bit. I might have to just throw a little wrench in here. The password for the week? I'm pretty sure it's Proteus. Next time, remember when they tell you. Sure thing, bro. Proteus. Remember that, guys. Proteus. You know what? Help remember. I'm gonna throw it right over there. Right there to the side of the screen. Like, right here. I'm gonna put Proteus right here. Help us all remember, okay? You guys better remember for me. Better. Can, can I do anything? What about this? It's a large piece of machinery. Can I use this thing? Large piece of... No. You can't do anything. Okay. Um, but we got a password. It's Proteus. Okay. So now, we just go back a little bit of ways. You guys remember it? Keep remembering it. What is it? What is it? It's Proteus. Yeah. Yeah, you guys remember it. I know you guys do. Logging in. Login successful. Authentication required. Proteus. Correct password. Sewers drained. Cool. Oh wait, that was sewage over there. So that it wasn't infected water, it was sewage. So now that gray water should be gone, right? No. Okay. Then where am I going next? Never went to. Uh yeah. All the scientists here are holed up in the corner of the base, except for me. I feel kind of bad. I'd go visit, but the force field doesn't let me in. Don't worry, I'll tell them you said hi. I'll let I'll let them know. Also, if you want me to bring me to bring them something from you, like maybe a lock of your hair, that'd be awesome. Or, or better yet, a lock of Audrey's hair. She, they they would love that. I I hear that 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 one guy he really really admires her. Yeah, that, that would be really cool of you if you could do that for him. For him. And you have used the wrong Pokemon to fight against Shukaku. You have used the very the most wrong one you could ever use. Like, seriously, a poison dragon? Like, I, I understand here. You, you you're using the one that's like that's on that's on what was it? The the meth. The meth kingdra. Meth Kingdra, that's what you're using. But, and I appreciate 
the what like the meth awareness. You're like you're trying to show off like what meth does to Pokemon even. It's it's a problem. It's a real issue. But you don't you, it's a but it's okay. You, you, sh you but it was a bad idea to use it against me. Against Shukaku. I really wish I could visit them. Again, give me a lock of Audrey's hair. I'll I'll be happy to get to take it to them for you. Okay, so the blue barrier doesn't even work on the scientists themselves. Okay. Um uh seed flare. Thank you. Now I can swim across. Is this Change the clothes are lying on the table. Obtained DNA of cult leader Audrey. So, wh what is this? Her bedroom? What's that over there? What is that over there? Wh what is that? What, what was that over there? Did Oh wait, I need to transform again. Use uh I I wanna be Audrey. Boom. I'm just gonna go ahead and be Audrey. There's a researcher who looks suspicious earlier, ma'am. I'd be careful if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is good. I I really like in the dialogue here. They actually think I'm her, but they're like talking now like they were suspicious of me the entire time. Miss, may I make a suggestion? Rega never mind. Please forget I said anything. You better, or else this Pokemon here, this sandy beach Pokemon, this one that represents a desert, one that doesn't have anything to do with water at all, is gonna kill you. But you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna fit the part of Audrey. I'm actually gonna have a water Pokemon out front. Skipper. Skipper's gonna have take the lead here. That way no one gets super suspicious. I wish you the best of luck, mistress. Yes. No sign of game until yet, Miss Audrey. Good. Keep up the good work. I know you will do do well and guard. By the way, no Pokemon battles also. No, I, I will not allow that. Okay. And through here. No, this was the scientist area. What? what? Oh, wait, it was down here. Hold on. And sloop. Here we are. Boom, I transformed. Did you know that 97% of the ocean is unexplored? It covers the majority of the planet. And we barely know anything about it. And just imagine, a majority of the Pokemon down there could all be water types, and we just never know. We know more about the moon than the seas on Earth. What kind of awesome Pokemon could exist down there? Have you heard of the Hoenn Calamity? About 30 years ago, when Kyogre was first summoned by Team Aqua, the weather went wild, tons of things were raised from the depths of the ocean. Most of it was unimportant. Bottles, shoes, maybe a few gems or pearls. And a rare, never-before-seen Pokémon. A squid that looks similar to Tentacruel, but with vastly higher stats. What? An evolution. One that only would occur in high water pressure. A new form of Tentacruel? A Pokemon with stats that rivaled legendaries. And further research shows... I'm sorry my voice has gone back. I'm just now ma I'm now intrigued, so I'm not going to be using a voice anymore. This is, in this, is in this is interesting. And further research shows that there are hundreds of hundreds more, all populating its murky depths. Of course, this was kept hush-hush. It would be awful if everyone knew what creatures the oceans held. Because, of course... Nintendo would get mad. Everyone would be trying to catch them, and with good reason. Fortunately, it turns out these Pokemon aren't nearly as strong out of the ocean as they are in it. Do you, 
Do you know why we're after Kyogre? It's incredibly powerful, and with the blue orb, it becomes one of the strongest Pokemon in the world. But do you know where its true talent lies? Kyo Kyogre is often considered as the deity of the sea, a real-life Poseidon. So they have... Interesting, so they have uh, Greek mythology, even. That's not an honorary title. Kyogre is the king in the most literal way. I'm not sure how, but it has the power to control and command other creatures of the sea. Like Manaphy! Except I think Manaphy would be a stronger candidate for that task, considering it actually controlled Kyogre in the movie. Or, or at least led the pack, if, if at all. Sure, having Kyogre would be great, but having an entire army of deep sea Pokemon, all with the strength of legendaries, we would be undefeatable. And now we have Lugia on the surface, creating a storm to cover the world. With the surface flooded, my army will be stronger than ever. Kyogre is slowly calling forth the first of my new Pokemon from the ocean, even deeper than we are. One by one, beast by beast, the Abyssal Cult will grow stronger. So am I going to battle one of these fan-made evolutions? I couldn't start until today, but until I had a power source strong enough to power both Kyogre and Lugia. You're treating them like machines, though. But now I have a shard of the very same crystal that once powered the auger. That's right, that one cultist found that little piece of the gem. I've lost everything in pursuit of this goal. My life, my child, and more. That's called obsession. So you've come to stop me. I'll take care of you now, before the first creature rises. You won't stand a chance. Before the first creature rises. You should have just, you could have just waited until it arrived. Music is banging. I didn't have the right Pokemon um, in the lead. I did not. I should have had Shikaku up front if I knew a Lantern was coming out. Hopefully, it's char it's going to use an electric attack. It used Scald. Wonderful. Um, minimize. Don't burn me. Don't burn. Minimize. There we go. Okay, it's too much for now, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a Hyper Potion. Yeah, okay. Let's do it, Shikaku. We're going to win this. You sculpt. It's not going to hit us. Oh, this music. I'm going to keep Shikaku in as mo for as long as we can. And I need a full restore now. Dang it. Okay, bag. Do I have any full restores? No, but I have burn heals. I'm gonna go ahead and use a burn heal and trust. Yeah, Shukaku. Bag. Now we're gonna use another hyper potion. Oh, Shukaku's gonna become the troll. I'm gonna see if I can actually just w w wash through her with just Shukaku. So one more minimize. Okay, we're, we're, we're toxicated. We're intoxicated now. That's not good. Just... Uh, earthquake it. Earthquake, now. Let's take out that lantern. <laughs> Heck yeah! Lantern not standing a chance. We're just wrecking... We just wrecked it. And now we're gonna move on. Ludicolo. Let's stick in, because Shukaku has Sap Sipper. If any of its grass moves would land, then we actually will get stronger. The question is, does she know that that's our ability? Don't know. But it knows Hydro Pump, and it actually... 
It landed a hydro pump. It has a life orb on it. Okay, that explains why it immediately died. Hmm. This is a, gonna be a, this is gonna be a fun fight. All right, Haxorus, you ready? Let's aerial ace this thing. Let's aerial ace this pineapple duck thing. Yeah, Paxorus, you can do it. Aerial Ace, wrap this up. Finish it off. There we go, Haxorus. Good job. Alakazam. Oh, we know who to go, who to call. Go, Bowser! It's Bowser's the dark type. With the power of darkness. Mega Ring? Tekken Bowser, rise up once again! Let's do it! Oh. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. Okay. Um. Jack? Guess Jack will have to take care of this one. So, use Thief. Substitute. Super effective. Cool. It can. Okay, yeah, do that. Keep using substitute, and we'll keep using thief to keep finishing this off. Finishing up. Keep it up. Just don't don't stop using the substitute. Cool. 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 Jack's just tricking it. Jack is the trickster. It makes it think it'll use substitute enough to to survive, but then it's just gonna stop because it's not gonna be able to do anything anymore. Cause thief is in the way and Jack just took the focus sash do we get to keep that a crawdon yes don't have it Bowser would have been good here Bowser would have been good um you know what I'll switch in for Haxorus here I'm gonna actually revive Bowser. Just in case. If Haxer survives though, then we will keep up the fight. So let's go ahead and revive Bowser. There you go, Bowser has some health back. Oh yeah, that's right, Crawdont is her is her mega. I fought her before, didn't I? Yeah, I I, I fought her before. In those dragon dance. Oh snap. Was it a dragon type? A single knockoff killed me? Okay, that's not right. Bowser? Let's use Aura Sphere. It knows super power. Of course it does. And everything is gonna fall. Oh, it's attacking fence fell. Um, hmm. Osmosis? If it's still dark type, then we're in trouble. Knockoff is a dark type move? Okay, this Crawdon's gonna be problem. Skipper, give us a hand. Let's scald it. We're gonna have to burn this thing in order to actually win. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Come on, Skipper. Skipper. You got this, Skipper. You got this. Scald it. Not very effective. Oh, but that did a lot of damage because we are weakened. We're weak. Hyper Potion now, Skipper. Got a Hyper Potion up. You just knock off. That's fine. Scald it. Scald it again. And we're weak again. Which means this should wrap us up. Scald it! 
Yeah, Skipper! Nice job! This is why I like steel types. Oh. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna leave Skipper in. I need to heal. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now things are getting interesting. I'm gonna have to make a plan here. Alright, let's use a Moo Moo Milk on Jack. I actually have a, I have a plan. I'm actually gonna weaken Kyogre. I'm gonna greatly weaken it. And I pray Jack survives at least one attack in order to do this. Otherwise, we're done. Fight. Here we go. Trick or treat! Come on, Jack. Gosh dang it! Scurried off to Pokemon Center. Ah! She beat us. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm not ending this episode yet. And honestly, she just got lucky. If she had actually not landed that first attack again with um with Ludicolo, then we would have been fine. Seriously, we would have been just fine. Um. So, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to back to where I was. And then we're going to take her down. Alright. I feel bad that I did talk a big, big game last time. And just, just to have her, like, completely dominate the fight. I, I feel bad about that. That That's my mistake. I'm sorry. I didn't want that to happen. Um, but now... Now we're gonna do better. You can't hurt... Finish us off. You can't. You're not gonna be able to. I'm gonna... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Jack. Jack, please. Just, just bullet seed it. No, don't need a volt switch. To... You know what? Fine. Fine. Alakazam, fine. Bullet seed it. Bullet seed Alakazam into submission. Three. Four. Boom. Out of, out of the picture. Alakazam is done. You sacrificed Alakazam. That was all your fault. Crawdont? Yes. Okay. Skipper's the one who's gonna take down Crawdont. Again. Skipper can handle it. Skipper, you ready for this? Come on, Skipper. Scald it. Burn it. Burn it. You can do it. You can do it. You can survive a superpower. And then you can just say, Hasta la bye bye! Scald! Bag. And we're just gonna use a. No. We're gonna actually use a hyper potion. Because I wanna make sure that you're good. Aqua Jet's not gonna do squat against us. And we're just gonna use Scald again. You're just gonna keep getting scalded until we say that's enough. Or until you burn. Then I'll use Hydro Pump. Because if you just got burned, you'd be, you'd be okay. In fact, using Hydro Pump would have just probably been a good move in general. Better tactic. A clip of a clip of a crit had landed there. All right, we're gonna try this again, Jack. I believe in you. I need you to land a trick or treat. 
I can use blue warp. That's fine. That is completely fine. We need you to land a trick or treat though. Can you do it, Jack? Origin pulse. Mm -hmm. Arrgh, just dang it. Okay. Okay, um... Osmosis. Can you handle it? I believe you could. Let's use Psychic. Origin Pulse. Barely. Barely survived. Oh my gosh, really. Not even a Hyper Potion can save us from that. The only one who could possibly... Ooh, attack miss! Osmosis actually could do this. No. Okay. Unless it knows an Ice-type move, Haxorus can, ha can take this out. Because it knows Thunder, it knows Origin Pulse. I don't know what type Origin Pulse is, though. That actually is concerning. But Haxorus is faster! Beat that! Booty Colo- Oh! No, Haxorus, stay in there! You know what to do against Ludicolo. It's called a little thing called Aerial Ace! You can't stop the Hax train! You can't stop it! No one can! You can't drain us! You can't drink us! You can't do anything! Haxorus, Aerial Ace! You better hope you got an Ice type under your belt, or Pokemon with Ice type move. Kingdra? That would have been a fun one to use if you had thought of using it before. If it's faster, though, it's not. It's not faster. It's just dead. Haxorus the Sweeper, using its keen skills of hacks. Lantern's the last one out. Haxorus, wrap this up. Dragon Claw! It actually survived. But it can't survive another. Dead! And that is how you defeat a cultist. Hmm, not bad. Got a chunk of money for winning. How embarrassing! I can't believe I lost to you. It doesn't matter, though. I can see the water stirring already. My army will soon rise. And then, game until, and then... What on earth was that? And then... Who are you? What are you? How did you get in here? Your Alakazam fainted. The barriers are gone. Who are... Wait a second. Aren't you the man from Sonata Hills? The leader's father? But yeah, this is the old man. I guess your treatment didn't go well. You couldn't be more wrong. I feel better than ever. I might look and sound weird, but it's still just little old me. I'm part Pokemon now. I've always had a bit of Pokemon DNA, but Pokerus made it stronger and replicate. It's an incredible feeling. I'm full of life again. The best part? I think I figured out how to pass it on to others. And, as much as I hate to do it, I'm offering that to you. Forget these young shenanigans. Join me instead. He's starting a new cult! All I ask in return is that crystal. Tempting offer, 
But I'm not going to just let go of the item that's letting me use Kyogre's power. I don't know how you got down here, but you better turn your weird tentacle-covered tail around and leave. Now. Well, I wasn't the one who wanted you to join. What? What are you talking about? I wanted to help the world. You want to rule it. Let's be honest. We would make a terrible team. When all these feelings were still new to me, I panicked, and I took a young boy with me. Yeah, you took Damien. Can I have him back, please? I mean, I still think he's a child and all, but he is my friend. He's fine, before you ask. Too late. But I did have a nice talk with him. It turns out I'm able to cure memories, amongst other things. What? What are you getting at? For example, the memory of a mother who abandoned her child. Of being raised by someone else because she could choose a Pokemon over him. Even after I helped him remember that, Damien still wanted you to join me. Say what now? Damien? You mean... That's right, your son. It comes full circle plot twist to the end of the earth. I still want to name this type have a title this episode for all a getter for all a get gather for all a whatever that term was. But dang this plot twist! Oh my, Damien, I. You're all grown up now. You're with him. You're different. What happened to you? Sorry, I'm yawning a bit. It's, it's very late. I left you. This is all my fault. M Mom, it's okay. You can make it up to him. Just give him the crystal. But why would you want that? The crystal is a power source for Pokemon. And we're just as much Pokemon as human now. Audrey, we're trying to help people. Do it for your son. She's not giving it. Take it, Damien. What? No! That's the only... Kyogre, no, get back, don't move! Floppy fish, floppy fish! Axe, stay back! Did... Did Kyogre just... Come on, Damien, we'll find her. You're doing the right thing by staying with me. If we work together... We can have a real chance to save the Torn region. Just like the prophecy said, eh? What is going on? I... You're right. Gamertil, I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna work with Malde. He really thinks he can help the Torn region this way. And maybe... This is how I fulfill that prophecy. I have to try. And plus, I... Well, I know you two don't like me that much. Norm made that pretty clear, and I don't blame you guys. So don't feel bad. I'd just rather spend my time helping Malde instead. See you around, I hope. Damien... Okay, here we are.
You, you beat Audrey? That's seriously incredible, Gamertill! You actually took down a cult leader! Abyssal or no more! Abyssal is no more! That's mind-blowing! You're the first person since the first auger to pull something like that off! I heard about your friend. Listen, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's just doing what he believes is the right thing to do. You just have to talk to him. He'll snap out of it. I've been doing some research into the Pokeyers fire. Well, let me go ahead and say this, though. Uh, talking is the key word here. And let's face it, I don't do much of that. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what's causing this in the first place, because I refuse to believe that whatever my father <clears throat> Malde wants to do is good for the world. I'll tell Nora about it, and we'll work on finding a solution together. I know you're worried about Damien. Trust me, he'll be fine. We'll work together to help him out. Who said that? Don't do anything rash, okay? I'll leave you here. I have a gym to run. And from what I hear, you have one to visit. Anastasia would be ready for you and Kelper. Thanks for letting me telling me about this. Let me know if you see my pa father or your friend again. Okay, now what is this? This is back in the Abyssal base. Who is that? One down. Only four more to go. <laughs> my mistress will be most pleased. Earth, it's almost time to come back to the mirror. The mirror? There's a Giratina cult! There's a Giratina cult! Ooh, I'm excited! I like that. Maybe that means there's a Dialga. A chance to get Dialga in this game. Oh, oh, I want to get Dialga. I want Dialga. Please tell me I can get Dialga in this game. Oh, oh, I hope that's... If I don't know if that... I highly doubt that's right now. I highly doubt that's current. But if that is the case... I hope it's that it's like that eventually. That cut that Dialga will be catchable. Well, then again, so far it doesn't seem like any legendaries have been catchable or obtainable in this game. But still, that's amazing. This is. I love the story of this game. I I love it. I love it to bits. I can't wait to see what happens next. But for now, for now, we have to end off the episode here. We just got a huge chunk of story thrown into our faces. Damien's mother was the leader of the Abyssal Cult. D he came back with Raldalde, Ra whatever his name was. <laughs> Mal Malde. Malde, I'm pretty sure. He came back with him. And now they're forming another cult. Like, it seems, that's what it seems. A, possibly a Deoxys cult or something. Well, they're not really, they're not, they're not like worshipping Deoxys, but he has Deoxys genes. Literally. So, this is crazy. But I can't wait for the next episode. Because the next episode we're going to be taking on the, the Kelper City Gym, the Steel an electric type gym. It's gonna be the best one yet. I, I'm so excited. But for now, if you guys enjoyed this episode, like, subscribe, favorite, share, whatever you do, it's up to you. If you enjoyed this commentary and you like to check out my other game videos, you can check out the Game Tools on my channel. And if you'd like to be updated with my channel, you can check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. All links in the description below. I will catch you guys next time on Gamer Tilson Rise.